on your side, Ava Hurdle gauged reaction this afternoon at a local gun dealership, and she joins us now with that story. Ava. Alveda, gun enthusiasts have mixed feelings, but some don't think the proposals will change anything. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking. I haven't really decided what I want yet. Gun control talk is apparently bringing customers in and driving up sales, but owners are divided over White House proposals. So we do have background checks. That's not going to take the guns out of the criminals' hands because legal or not, they're going to still get guns. And if they put this gun ban in, then they're going to take guns from citizens, responsible citizens who can defend themselves under the Second Amendment of our Constitution. Another gun owner has this view about the president's plan. Uh, some of them I agree with. We should have background checks on, on everybody that buys weapons. And uh, I think the things on high-capacity ammunition magazines, I think that's... I think it's just posturing to show that they think they got to be doing something. At Bob's gun shop, business is booming. Some calibers of ammunition are in short supply. The glass showcases where weapons are displayed are emptying out. So too are the gun racks. The M4 rifles, the AR-15s, uh, any type of semi-automatic rifle that can hold more than five or ten rounds of ammunition. Those were the first guns to go. He says customers are worried the government could keep them from purchasing guns. As far as an assault weapons ban, I don't see that happening uh, in the political climate that is Washington. I don't think the votes are there for it. And I think the firearms community as a whole is going to, uh, to fight it. Marcus believes the only way to enforce a proposed universal background check would require registration, which he does not foresee happening anytime soon. He also believes armed security is the best bet for school safety. Now, the president's program is in response to the Connecticut school shootings. He admitted the most effective actions must be taken by lawmakers and urged Congress to act soon. I'm Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.